Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm so glad you're here. If you're brand new here, my name is Stav, and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. Today, I'm gonna to be going over a simple explanation of my grip on a handgun. I won't go over revolver grip in this video. That is a little different, and I can do that in another video if you guys want. But this video is gonna be all about how to grip a semi-automatic handgun. I know that there are lots of different ways to grip a handgun, but I'm just gonna show you how I do it I'm going to tell you why I do it the way I do, and then you can try it for yourself, see if it works for you, or see if it doesn't, and hopefully I'll be able to help some of you out. Before we start, I just want to say thank you for all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I just recently hit 30,000 subscribers, which is unreal. I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you, so thank you for being here and for subscribing and watching my videos. I think I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon since I just hit 30,000, so make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you can keep an eye out for that giveaway because I usually do my giveaways on there. In case you are brand new here and you don't know, this is my carry gun. It's a 9mm Smith & Wesson Shield. Her name is Sally. It's empty right now. I've got an empty magazine. And I'm going to be using this gun to show you how I grip a semi-automatic handgun. Like I said in the beginning, there are a lot of different ways to grip a handgun. Some ways make it harder to shoot, like the teacup. You see that in movies sometimes. It's like, why? They obviously didn't have any sort of person who knows how to shoot on set. But you see the teacup, um, I don't even know, something like this, where you don't have anything here. So I'm going to show you how I do it right now. I pick the gun up with my right hand, that's this one right here, and you can see I'm keeping my finger off the trigger the whole time until I'm ready to shoot the gun. That's one of the most basic rules of firearm safety and one that you should ingrain in your memory, in your muscle memory. You need to know that you cannot put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to shoot the gun. So that's step number one. Grip it with your strong hand, keep your finger off the trigger. Make sure all your fingers are wrapped around the grip. And on the back of the gun here you can see this little beaver tail right here. It's curved. You want your hand to go high up on that and then wrap around. So you want to get rid of any space that's between here. If you grip your gun like this, you can cause a malfunction because the slide needs you to be holding it properly in order for it to go back and forward and be able to chamber the next round properly. So make sure you have a high grip on the back of that gun right there. So this is where we are. I've got a good grip with my right hand or my dominant hand for you. That might be the left. And now you see all this empty space right here. What's going to happen if you don't fill in that space? As you're shooting, the gun's going to want to move in whichever direction you're not providing any sort of resistance. So if there's a lot of space here, the recoil is going to make the gun go like this. You want to cover any empty space here that you can with your other hand. So the way I do that is I take my left hand and all these four fingers are going to wrap around the bottom where the grip is. Like that not hanging down, not like this, all wrapped around the other fingers. And then what do I do with this thumb? Well, I like to point it directly at my target, whatever I'm shooting at. Some people like the thumbs up grip where you're kind of like this. I prefer to just cover as much of the gun as I can. Also, when I'm pointing my thumb forward at my target like that and my index finger, if I point my thumb at anything in this room, like I've got a plant over there, so if I, if I point my thumb over there like that, if I point it over there, I'm pretty good at aiming with my thumb. On my gun and aimed at my target, just like my index finger, then it makes me a little bit more accurate. So this is my grip right here. You're filling in as much space as you can on the side of your gun. And when I started shooting, it made me nervous because I thought that when the slide goes back and forth that it would hurt my finger if it was up on the slide, but it's not. It just slides right off your thumb. So if you look at it from the top, it looks like this. My index finger is pointed straight towards the target, and so is my thumb. And my right thumb, or my dominant thumb, is resting on top of the non-dominant thumb. And that's a pretty solid grip right there. You want to squeeze the gun tight, but not tight enough that you're shaking. Just keep a nice strong grip on that gun, like that, and it'll make you a bit more accurate. Something you might notice about my gun is that I've put grip tape on it here. That's just like skateboard tape that you can cut and tape to the side of your gun. It just allows for a little more friction so that when you're holding the gun, it doesn't slide or move around or anything. I also have a piece up here because that's where my thumb rests. 
One word of caution, and I've seen this happen before where people grip the gun improperly and get hurt. The gun has a slide, so the slide comes back and forth. Every time you fire the gun, it goes back and forth, and it does it really, really fast. If you have your hand down here in the back, it's gonna hurt. So if you grip the gun improperly, like instead of like this, you put your thumb, let me just show you. So instead of like this, if you put your thumb back here, when that slide comes back, it's gonna hurt and it's gonna cut your finger or your thumb and it's gonna hurt really bad and you're not gonna wanna do that again, which is a good lesson, but I want to prevent you guys from getting hurt. So make sure you're keeping your thumbs on the side and not back here, cause you'll get something called slide bite and it sucks. Hi guys, I was just editing this video and I realized that I forgot something pretty important. So here I am again, I've obviously changed, it's later on in the day, but I just wanted to talk to you about your arm when it comes to grip. So I'm just lowering you a bit so you can see my whole arm. Jeez, I'm short, hold on. <laughs> Let's see, I've lowered you a little bit so you can see my arm. Okay, so when you grip a gun, you want there to be a straight line from the side to your wrist, to your elbow, and then up to your shoulder. So when I got my first gun, it didn't fit me properly. And what I had to do in order to reach the trigger was turn it like that. So as you can see now, it's not a straight line. The slide's going back this way, and my arm's over here. So if that happens to you, you might have a gun that's not properly fit for your hand. And what that does is that when I shoot the gun, the recoil goes back here and my arm's not there to support it. So when you grip a gun, it should be like this. There should be a straight line and you should still be able to reach the trigger with your index finger. So I'm just gonna show you again. There's a straight line between the slide, my wrist, my elbow, and my arm so that when I go to shoot, it's an absolute straight line all the way back. And that will help to handle the recoil because all that recoil is going through your arm rather than into nothing because you're gripping it improperly like that. See that angle? It should be like this. That's just how I do it, guys. If you hold your gun a different way, I'm sure you're gonna tell me about it in the comments. Let me know what works for you. If you're brand new to shooting, then hopefully this was helpful to you. If you've been shooting for a while, then hopefully it was still helpful to you. It's always good to learn new things. Make sure you're getting out there and getting some practice in with your gun if you can, and make sure you're practicing properly. If you guys like these basic videos where I show you kind of some simple fundamentals about like grip, and how to's please let me know in the comments i would be so happy to do some more thank you so much for stopping by my channel i hope you all have a great day and stay safe bye